<laughs> My music okay, taster okay. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I feel the inverse. Maybe people will say if, you, if you're into Ariana Grande, your music taste might be shit. <laughs> but. All right, so we're going to be seeing Sora in this round one. And Kaylee Farah starting things off slow, just you know, throwing out some lasers, not trying to get too crazy just yet. Yep, both players feeling it out, trying to see what they can get started. But here comes Kaylee cooking it up with the Falco combos. My goodness. Yep, starting things off with a very nice little platform conversion, but Ariana Grande with the uh, breaker side B. Those Ooh. drag downs are so satisfying as Falco. I can't execute them that well, but it's nice to see them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kelly Fair right now really playing things safe so far in this neutral. A lot of using utilizing these small battlefield platforms, which you know have always been very beneficial to characters that want to zone and space out just because they offer so much protection. What a down air on the side B. Even Ariana Grande in a precarious situation. That's a lost jump and a lost stock. Cali Farah looking sharp today. Very curious to see how this matchup goes. I don't think I've ever seen, you know, a, a high level Falco Sora matchup uh -oh. yet. Uh oh. Can we recover and make it back to. Oh, we did just it! Just barely. The biggest magnet hand saving Kaylee Farah's life from an unfortunate mishap. Yeah, for sure. One of the things that is fantastic, many of the things that are fantastic about Falco, but that reflector being so quick and being able to reflect a lot of these spells from Sora is going to be really useful. And as, as you can see right now, it's working pretty well, but Ariana Grande mounting the comeback. Yep, Ariana been trying to utilize that down smash a lot in um, like edge guard situations. Nice B reverse there, and Ooh. waits for the mash, but unfortunately not able to find the stock out of it. And a Falco up tilt means you might be taking some pretty big punishment. Oh yeah, that up tilt equals damage. Absolutely. Oh, almost getting the landing Nair conversion, but not quite. But just a raw Thundaga going to be able to take it. Ariana Grande now on the board with only 43% of extra credit coming out from Kaylee Farah. You would think that the way this match started that it was not going to be as close, but we are, you know, doing all right. But as I say that, Falco's starting to get those conversions going. Oh, but here comes Ariana Grande. Yeah, I feel like after that first stock, we really started to see Ariana Grande trying to throw out the where Sora like really excels in this matchup, which mm. is going to be off stage. Sora right. really thrives off stage, whereas Spacey's historically do not. Nice Faraga conversion there. Now putting Kaylee Farah back in the corner, but a well placed back air, keeping Kaylee Farah in this lead. That move is so strong. <laughs> oh, <and then>. Unfortunate. <laughs> I think Kaylee Farah, once, uh, once the second Thundaga got clipped, uh, he figured he was clear to go. Now we're looking at a pretty even game right now, but an up tilt. All right, great uh, combo DI from Ariana. Not, you know, getting too much damage on the board just yet. Those raw Thundagas just coming out of nowhere, but it worked a just couple of seconds ago. In. Yeah, good counter there by Ariana Grande. Yeah, and that's the first time we've seen the counter so far in this set. Throwing it out, you know, getting close to this game one where it really starts to matter, but a nice drag down and another counter. Yeah, this is getting scary. All Falco needs is just an up tilt conversion, and then it's going to be game one. But let's see what happens Ooh. as we. Oh, what an air dodge read from Ariana. I didn't see that coming, my word. Very interested to see how the rest of this set progresses. You could tell that even though, you know, both players were feeling each other out at the start of the match, they still kind of held out that process, you know, not really committing too much to things, but once they had an opening, they definitely were able to either just throw out a raw Thundaga like that or just throw out raw backers. Yeah, I think Kaylee Farah has a very slow and confident neutral, mm. but I think because of that, when Kaylee Farah gets caught off guard, he gets put in a pretty like bad situation. Yeah, speaking of bad situations, just eating the Keyblade to the face to end game one. But now we got two bans already. Small uh, Smashville and FD have been banned. So let's see where we head now. Oh, the switch to Bayonetta. Okay, interesting. Yep. Ariana's going to be switching, switching things up. Very nice. We got our own Tri-State Proto here going different mains each game. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> One, go! 
All right. So Bayonetta over Sora, definitely not going to be seeing as much, you know, zoning as Sora does. Of course, But, of yeah. course, the, uh, you know, Bayonetta's got a pretty good disadvantage. So once, uh, or once Kaylee Farah starts getting a combo starter, Ariana's going to have a better time getting out of it. Right, right. Ooh. All right, getting some potential platform conversions right now. Looking for a cheeky conversion off of the retreating town and city platform. All right, which twist out of shield. Now putting some more damage on Kaylee Farah. And on town and city blast zones, though, definitely not going to be killing anywhere close to the top. But nice snipe with the bullets. That was excellent. Excellent use of the projectile off stage. And now we're trying to see what the response is from Kaylee Farah. I have to say, you know, I wasn't, you know, Smash Ultimate is sort of my first introduction into Smash and like getting super into the game. But I know from hearing everyone in the community talk about Smash 4 Bayonetta and how much of a terror <laughs> that was, I don't want to bring any uh, flashbacks or have anyone have a nervous breakdown listening to talk us talking about Bayonetta and Smash 4. But interesting to see what the character has done so far in the Ultimate meta. There's definitely a place for her, but. Just curious, what what your thoughts are on, on Bayonetta currently right now? Honestly, I feel like she's in a she's in a pretty good place in the meta. Ooh, a little bit of tea bag coming out from Kaylee Farah. This is, I think, that sort of confidence that I, that we've seen from him before, and it's it's come to bite him uh, occasionally. So we're gonna see if we if Kaylee Farah doesn't live to regret that tea bag. Absolutely, taunt to get F smash. Let's see what Bayonetta can convert here as Falco is at a super high percent. Solid lead, but you know, Falco closing the gap right now. Yeah, and very quickly too. Ariana already at 70, but Kaylee Farah now at a zero on his third stock with a great witch to it, yeah. or witch time. Yeah, that was excellent. Oh, and then of course we want to attack on that extra damage with the, oh, all right, Falco here. Yeah, Ariana put in a pretty bad situation there. Had to jump away from the town and city platform to avoid being put in a bad tech situation. But making the most of things right now. ABK back into center stage. Uh-oh. No, she's fine. All right. All right, off stage right now. This is where Bayonetta really shines, especially, you know. <laughs> All right, you're getting a little too confident. <laughs> Definitely love to see our competitors having some fun out there. Ooh, tried to read the, I guess, just a neutral get up there. All right, caught the jump. Great use of the lasers. Oh, And a great ledge trump, putting Califera in even stocks right now. Uh-oh, gets caught by the downward ABK and now off stage once again. All right, yeah, just waiting on waiting on that uh, on that kick. Putting on some big damage right now. The platform's coming in, putting Ariana in a bad tech situation. All right, using the guns to catch Kaylee Fur, jumping around a little too much. Ariana Grande doing a great job at keeping Falcon disadvantage right now. Oh, Ooh, the DI. That yeah, that didn't look huh. very good. Wait, isn't it 1-1? One, one? No, Ariana oh, won Ariana game one. One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. You're right, you're right. Well, that does it for our first match. Ariana Grande continues through the bracket. Maybe we'll get to see more of them later on. Good up smash there by Falco with the taunting. Disrespectful. Yeah. But you know what? It is what it is. Yeah, sometimes, you know, especially after losing game one, you kind of want to get that little confidence boost. True, true. Hype yourself up. Absolutely. Great use of the witch time there by Bayonetta, getting that F smash. And then, yeah, we saw a lot of back and forth in this match, but definitely Ariana Grande held their lead and did a great job. Yeah, let's see. All right, this was the last stock. I want to see what happened with Kaylee Fair, because those guns did not look like they should kill. Or no, it was, was it this dash attack? Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, the shine the opposite way? I guess. Accidentally? I, maybe Kaylee Fair just decided he was done. Said, look, I'm got a. Got dash attacked one too many times. And yeah. That was it. Look, it's dinner time. Got to go get a <laughs> slice of pizza around the corner, maybe. True. <laughs> get refreshed before their next match. But hey, good luck to Kaylee Fair throughout the rest of the bracket. Um, but who do we uh, who do we have coming up? 
Right now, we have uh, Steven coming up versus Cast Starman. And Cast Starman, I believe, is the one holding the... It's like an art... Like an uh, Smash art book. 